Hi everyone, it's Amanda Pratt, licensed clinical social worker with Imagine Life Therapy. I haven't done a video in a really long time because I've just been dealing with a lot of crises that keep coming up and, and other things. Um, and so I tend to, you know, gravitate away from social media when I need to. But um, I wanted to come back with just a little exercise that you can do because it's been coming up a lot in therapy for my clients and I think that this is just such a great exercise to kind of have in your tool belt. Um, it comes from Dr. Kristen Neff who is kind of the guru on self-compassion and uh, it's called a self-compassion break. So basically anytime you're having a tough time whether it's uh, chronic illness symptoms or you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed, um, try this exercise uh, and see, see if it helps ground you in the moment. So a self-compassion break is basically a quick exercise with three components. Um, one is mindfulness. So we want to first recognize that we're feeling a difficult emotion, that we're suffering um, is a word, having a tough time, basically, or, you know, uh, as I like to say, um, you know, having a crap Sunday. Um, it, and you just recognize that things are crappy, things are, are tough, um, that you're suffering and being willing to be open to that experience with yourself. So that's step number one. Um, the second thing is uh, self kindness, or being a good friend to yourself, um, having the ability to say kind things to yourself, that's really important. And then the third component is um, really connecting with and engaging with a sense of common humanity, which is just basically saying that in the moment that you're suffering, recognizing and connecting with the greater world and and or community that other people experience uh, similar emotions in their times of suffering that you're not alone in feeling that way or thinking the way that you're thinking and um, in that you have a community behind you that um, that validates that as a human experience okay so those are the three components so the first thing we're going to do just kind of jumping right in is you want to first think of a situation um, and and you can do this while you're in a tough situation but usually to start out you don't want it to be something that's so big and so overwhelming you want to start out with something that's kind of more manageable um, you know, a difficult situation, but nothing super severe and overwhelming, okay? That way, you're kind of um, dipping your toes in a little bit and getting used to being open to your feelings because sometimes if we're not used to that and we jump in to the deep end of the pool, then it can be really overwhelming. So we don't want that. We want to start with something, if you've never done self-compassion exercises before, start with something a little innocuous and, and go from there, okay? So if you want, um, you know, I'll invite you to close your eyes and while I walk you through uh, the exercise. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to think about a difficult situation that's come up recently for you. It could be something that you're struggling with in your life right now. Um, it could be something related to the pandemic. It could be a work issue. Um, maybe you're having a conflict in your relationship. Um, maybe uh, it's chronic illness symptoms that you're having or a flare that you're in right now. But think about this, um, bring it up in your mind. Um, take a few minutes to think about the situation visualize it in your your mind's eye so to speak and as you think about it notice whatever is coming up in your body so if you're focusing on the symptoms that you're having for example and you start to notice that you're feeling overwhelmed you know just just notice it and observe it right i you can sometimes even say to yourself i am noticing tension in my chest or I'm noticing that I'm 
starting to, to, to breathe more quickly. Whatever it is that's happening in your body, just, just notice it, okay? So while we are doing this, we're gonna be focusing on um, a, a narrative, a, phrases that you're you're going to say to yourself okay so the first thing we're going to do is basically recognize i'm experiencing difficulty in this moment you could say this is a moment of suffering you could say you know this is a really really difficult thing to deal with um i'm feeling really upset by this uh, this feeling is overwhelming um, whatever it is, you want to say it in a language that feels unique to you, that feels true to you and authentic to you, okay? So say it in whatever way makes sense, but essentially you want to recognize within yourself that you're having a tough time and, and this is a moment of suffering for you. And you want to validate how hard it is for you, okay? And in doing so, we're gonna move on to connecting to the common humanity in that experience. So if you're having a, an illness flare, you know, connect with the humanity in the fact that, you know, say you have lupus and you're in a lupus flare. Other people with lupus have flares too and, and they go through these tough things and I'm not the only one who's overwhelmed by this. This is a this is a part of this experience and I'm not alone in that, right? Um, if it's a, a relationship difficulty, you know, maybe there are other people out there who've had similar challenges or with the pandemic, so many people are, are finding this difficult. So connect to that greater sense of humanity, that suffering is a part of this, that the challenge in this difficulty is part of being human say that to yourself in in language that feels right for you okay and then we're going to go on to the next step bringing it all home with saying some kind words to yourself i usually like to challenge people to think about you know if i can imagine myself being so comforted and feel safe and secure in this moment of suffering what would I want someone to say to me in order to help me get there, right? So maybe you imagine someone you really care about coming up to you and just giving you a big hug. Maybe you imagine them saying to you, everything's gonna be okay. Maybe they say, you're gonna get through this. You've gotten through this before. You are a badass at getting through things that are difficult and you will get through this too. Whatever it is, Imagine what you would really want or need someone to say to you in that moment, and then you do that for yourself, okay? So the self-kindness can be not only words, but it can also be soothing touch, okay? So if someone, you know, if you would need someone to give you a hug, then give yourself a hug, all right? It might feel silly, but in the moment, let me tell you, it still feels really comforting. One of the things I like to do is put my hand on my heart and it's just become a habit. I never really realized why I was doing it, but it was an instinctive thing. And um, whenever I would start to have an anxiety attack, I'd put my hand on my heart and I would just visualize that my heart, that almost that it was like calm, becoming calm because my hand was there, like a heart hug, I guess you could say. Uh, but now I do it whenever I get overwhelmed, it's just like a habit and it's instantly comforting. So. Whatever it is that, that you might do, sometimes people find like playing with their hair is really comforting. If you're having a pain somewhere in your body specifically, like your arm hurts, then you can hold that area and imagine that, that you're comforting that, okay? So think of any sort of soothing and comforting touch that you can do for yourself if that feels right for you. 
Um, and then there's the words, the language, you know, I really like empowering language that that's like really uplifting. So I always tell myself I'm a badass, you're a badass, you can do this. Um, but sometimes you might need more loving language, you know, like I care about you, you, um, you can get through this and um, you're perfect just the way that you are those sorts of words, whatever it is you think you need in that moment, say those things to yourself, okay? Um, and, and so that kind of wraps up the activity. So whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes um, or just kind of come back uh, and just notice how you feel, right? Do you feel more open to yourself? Do you feel more open to how you're feeling? Do you feel more kind of settled in to how you're feeling? That I think is really, um, at least from my experience, it, it helps prevent non, you know, judgment. It's the first step in non-judgment, right? Is being able to accept how you're feeling. So when we do self-compassion breaks, we're less likely to judge ourselves. We're less likely to feel shame and to feel as though we're doing something wrong by feeling the way we're feeling. Um, or even to just be fighting against that moment. Instead of fighting against it, we're embracing it and accepting it and saying, this is okay, and leaning into it. And I think that can be helpful. It's just creating space for whatever it is you're feeling and allowing it to just be there. Okay, so I just wanted to share that exercise with you. It was something that I've learned recently um, and been practicing more recently and sharing with clients and I really love it. So I hope that you enjoy it too and it's helpful for you. And so, um, yeah, so go out and continue being the badass that you are and uh, I'll check in again soon. Hopefully be making more videos, I'm trying to get back into that. And so, um, yeah. Have a great day and we'll see you later.